The weight is supported by two cables. The cable manufacturer specifies a load limit of 1,200 pounds. Find the maximum weight that can be supported. We will apply the 1,200 pound limit to our two cables and use that to solve for the maximum weight that can be supported. The orientation of the cables is given by similar 3-4-5 triangles. I have set up my engineering paper with the given and find information. My next step will be to draw a free body diagram. Now I've got my free body diagram drawn. Nothing too special. I show all three forces acting. The two cables, AB and BC, and the weight, and the orientations of the forces in the cables. And I've also shown the direction. In this case, all forces acting uh, in tension away from point B. Now let's think through this problem for just a minute. Uh, the maximum load we can have in a cable is 1,200 pounds. Don't make the rookie mistake of putting 1,200 pounds on both cables A, B, and B, C. That's not going to happen. Since the cables are oriented at different angles, they will not both feel the same force when we apply the weight. One of them is going to reach 1,200 pounds first. And if you can guess which one that is, go ahead and set it equal to 1,200 pounds and then solve. If you're not sure which one it is, I've got another method for you. I'm going to begin by assuming the weight is just one pound and then solve for the forces in the two cables. Then I'll see which cable will be feeling the max force. That's the one that will be 1,200 pounds. I'll just scale up the load. I've written my equilibrium equation for the x direction. I've got going to the left, so negative force AB. Its horizontal component is shown. Uh, it's going to be in the 4 direction since it's horizontal. And divide by the hypotenuse, 5, since it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Then in the positive direction, going to the right, the component of force BC times the horizontal component, which is going to be of the similar triangle, which is going to be 3 over the hypotenuse, 5. Set it equal to 0. I'm going to have these same two unknowns in my y direction equilibrium equation. So I'm planning on doing a substitution. I will solve for variable FBC in terms of FAB. So I get the force BC is equal to 4 thirds force AB. And I'm going to just call that equation 1 so I can reference it later. Okay, I've got my equilibrium equation for the y direction. I've got two forces pointing up, so they're positive, the vertical components of force AB and force BC. For AB, it's uh, multiplied by 3 fifths, because 3 is the vertical side of our similar triangle over the hypotenuse. And for force BC, it's times 4 fifths, because 4 is the vertical component of our similar triangle. Minus 1, our weight, that I'm assuming for now. Set it equal to 0. I'll call that equation 2. So I've got two equations with two unknowns, and I'm going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2 so I can solve for force AB. Okay, so I substituted 4 thirds FAB into equation 2 here for uh, force BC, and simplifying it, I get that force AB is equal to 3 fifths. I'm going to call that answer equation 3, and I'm going to substitute it into equation 1 to solve for force BC. Okay, I've got two forces now. Force AB is 3 fifths. Force BC is 4 fifths. That means if the weight W is 1 pound, the force in cable BC is going to be higher than cable AB. And now if I scale up that load, cable BC is going to be the first one that gets to the maximum limit of 1,200 pounds. So I write force BC is equal to 1,200 pounds. I'm going to call that equation 4. Now I can scale up the force for AB by substituting the force of 1,200 pounds for force BC into equation 1. And solving for force AB, I get that it will be equal to 900 pounds. Let's now sum our forces in the y direction again, this time with our correct values for force AB and force BC. Instead of using one pound for our weight, we'll solve for the weight. Writing the equilibrium equation and solving for W, 
I get that our weight is equal to 1,500 pounds. With a weight of 1,500 pounds, cable BC will feel the 1,200 pound force, and that is the limit we were given. And we're done.